Hello, my name is Darren Milet. I'm one of the deputy editors at Your Intervention, and I'm joined today at Your PCR 2018 by Robert Byrne, one of the deputy editors. Uh, welcome, Robert. Thanks, Darren. Nice to be here. Uh, indeed. Robert, tell us, um, uh, why should people submit their papers to your intervention? Uh, well, I think there's a couple of things. Um, number one, I think we've got an excellent impact factor. We've got an impact factor of around about uh, 5.2, and uh, that's, uh, of course, important uh, to authors. But I think beyond that, we also have a very good... Uh, dissemination of our research we have uh, through the uh, PCR online website, through the Euro Intervention website and through various social media channels. So I think authors will also get very good exposure for their research. And finally, I think because Euro Intervention is the journal of our association of the EAPCI and uh, that's where we should publish our best papers. Yeah, sounds reasonable. What, what, what are the main types of manuscripts that you look for when, when considering publication in Euro Intervention? Yeah. Well, obviously, uh, you know that we're interested very much in clinical research papers and, of course, in preclinical research papers. But more than that, I think Euro Intervention has always been a journal of innovation. So we're very interested in new innovation papers. And this is something that we try to prioritize a lot. What about the Humble Case Report? Yeah, so I think we have uh, developed a, a type of paper called Interventional Flashlight, which is a paper that has four authors and can have a maximum of four references. And it's very much focused on showing the best images from your most interesting cases. And this has proven to be a, an extremely popular uh, submission uh, type. Okay. What about the subject matter? I mean, obviously, your intervention has been traditionally focused on, on coronary. Is, is that still the case? Um, well, I think your intervention has always represented uh, a, a journal for the entire spectrum of intervention in cardiovascular medicine. So I think we have increasingly more focus on structural interventions for heart disease. Uh, and we also have a very strong submission levels for peripheral artery disease and, of course, for renal denervation. So we aim to be a journal for the entire spectrum of cardiovascular interventions. Okay. Any new features you'd like to tell us about or any recent developments in the, in the journal? Uh, well, there are a couple actually. So uh, we have, of course, uh, the EEP type of paper, and this is an expedited editorial publication. And this is really uh, given to manuscripts that have a certain priority because they could be immediately relevant for clinical practice. It might be a, uh, a clinical trial that was reported as a late-breaking trial, for example, at EuroPC, or, or it might just be a very important piece of registry uh, data. And uh, at EuroPC, or this year, actually, we have published a total of nine of the late-breaking uh, uh, studies simultaneous uh, with their presentations here at EuroPCR. So I think that's a, an attractive feature, hopefully, for authors. Um, but I think the second point to be aware of is that even if your article doesn't achieve this priority, which many, of course, won't, uh, that your paper, once it's accepted, goes immediately online as a just accepted article, which we call a JAA. And this means that the final version that you submit will be posted online as a PDF, a non-typeset, but it's available to be read and to be uh, cited uh, from the day that it's accepted. Fantastic. And tell me, um, for, our, for our potential authors, what are your top three tips and tricks to, to try and help them get their, their paper accepted at your intervention? I, mean, I think there are a couple of points that spring to mind. And the first is, it sounds mundane, it sounds like something everyone knows, but pay attention to the instructions for authors and try to comply with them as much as possible. Because manuscripts that are well written and that meet the instructions to author are much more likely to successfully enter the review process, and that's what it's all about. I would say the second thing is concentrate on your display items because uh, it's important, regardless of the content of your paper, I think to uh, put uh, a lot of focus on your display items because these are something that are uh, very attractive for the reader and allows you to get the main message across uh, in as concise a way as possible. And I suppose the final point to mention is I think you should pay attention to the uh, language editing. If English, for example, is not your first language, then I think it's important that you uh, show the paper or have it reviewed by a, a native speaker because I think these small things at the end of the day count for a lot in the review process. 
Great, Robert. Thanks for that. Some fantastic tips and tricks there for our, for our uh, potential authors who can, of course, visit our website, visit the Europe PCR website and follow us on social media. Enjoy the conference. Thank you.